Hey guys, and welcome to Check It Out. So, today, I decided to make a new video, and I'm glad that you guys are here joining me. And this one was the one I posted a couple weeks ago about the kale smoothie, the detoxifying smoothie. So, the title was called Detoxifying Kale Smoothie, Good or Gross? That's what we're here to find out. That's what we're going to check out today on Check It Out. So, what I did, I pre-cut everything up. Except the bananas, I have um, obviously the main ingredients, which is kale, which is kind of like from the lettuce family right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Where's the? There it is. Kale, a little strong. One banana, whole or sliced, however you guys want it. And instead of doing the apples, I decided to do the pears. So I got like pre-cut up pears there. And instead of putting either water or almond milk, I decided to put mango juice. From Goja. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna put all those together. I'm gonna blend it in, and I'm gonna try this smoothie um, drink. Um, kale is really good when it comes to like making a lot of these detoxifying um, smoothies. I know a friend of mine did it a couple times, and he actually lost a lot of weight, and it, he felt a lot cleaner, a lot cleansed inside, a lot had a lot more energy. So it's something you guys might want to look into if you guys want to go healthy. And that's that's my goal, to get healthier and, you know, lose a little bit of the weight that I have right now, which is uh, a big thing for me. You know, it's easy to gain the weight. It's just really hard to get rid of it. You know what I mean? So with that said, we're, let's get started, okay? So I have the pitcher right here, and this is where I'm going to put everything in. So um, however you want to start is up to you. I'm going to obviously throw the kale in first. So as much as you guys want, I mean, don't put too much kale, because remember, it's going to be really thick, and if you guys have, like, the magic bullet, don't worry about it, because that thing grinds and shreds it up to, like, almost nothing, to liquid. Now, this one is an older model, so it's not, you know, it'll take a little bit before it shreds down to how you want it, and it's still going to be a little bit chunky. So I think that's, that should be good enough kale. What do you guys think? I think so. All right, so now let's see what we do now. Let's throw some of the, I'm going to throw all of them in there. I mean, as much, as much as you want, I'll put all the pears in there. Mm, pears. What a pear. That was cheesy, I know. All right, and of course, the banana. So just split it in there, toss it in. So far, so good. Or is it? Okay. And then finally, the juice. Again, you guys can put juice, water, or even almond milk. I've seen almond milk in these smoothies. I, I don't know about milk and kale, but I seen it and the lady was all about it, like she was enjoying it. Then again, it was a video. You know, anything for a couple hits and views on YouTube. And I don't even have the lid for this thing, which is scary. Hopefully it doesn't go all over the place when I blend it. Let's cross our fingers. All right, so here's our blender. Again, it's one of the older models, which still has, I don't know if you guys can get that on there, the, um, the old button thing there. So if you have the bullet, I'm telling you, oh, it'll be perfect. This one might take a little bit longer, and it's going to get loud really fast. All right, here we go. You know what? I don't have the data. I'm going to use this one at the top. Here we go. You ready? If this goes all over me, feel free to laugh. Here we go. I'm looking very appetizing right now, right now. Here we go. Here we go. A little bit more. See the chunks of kale. There's a lot of kale. See the way these are kale. Okay. Alright, I think it should be good. I think it should be good. Guys, guys, guys. Ooh, and I got it all over the place. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's the moment of truth, folks. It's very, as you can see from here, it's very, very green, dark, rich. Almost looks like green slime. Remember green slime from Nickelodeon? 
Green Slime Shampoo gets you clean, won't turn you green. It smells not too bad. So here we go. Pour it in. I'll show you that, guys. It's a little bit chunky. Oh, man. This better be good. All right, here we go. Okay. So, pour it in inside my honeycomb um, cup there. Here we go. Down the hatch. Kale. Go to gross. Down the hatch. Actually, it's not bad. I was afraid because of the kale. That was going to be very strong and very bitter or just gross tasting, but it's actually really, really good. Yeah. Like I said, if you have one of those magic bullets, it'll shred it down to almost like a liquid, but this is actually pretty good. It's like a real smooth. It moves a little bit, a little bit thicker, so it's, it's great. Um, I recommend this. I really think it's really good. You know, I wouldn't, if it tastes bad, I would not post it up here on YouTube at all. But it's really good. If you guys are trying to go the healthier way, um, kale is a good way of doing it. Um, mix it up with some fruits that you guys like, whether it's apples, pears, uh, strawberries, uh, peaches, mangoes. All those fruits are really delicious. You add a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, maybe throw in some carrots. Um, celery works too. Um, it's pretty good. I'm going to be honest with you. Out, out of... Um, one out of, I think one out of five stars, I'd give it a five star. I think it's really good. It's really, really good. It really is. Mm. So I'm going to enjoy my kale. And you guys, enjoy this video. And I hope if it was very, I don't want to say so much educational, but if you enjoyed it and you liked it, go ahead and hit the like button, the thumbs up there. And don't forget to subscribe at the bottom. So if you want to see more videos like these, or others, uh, feel free to subscribe. And again, like I always say, folks, until next time, don't just take a look. Check it out.